Hello grade 10. So in today's video, I decided that I should do analysis and interpretation. Remember guys, in accounting, you are not only going to calculate, but you are going to be required to interpret your answer. So when I was looking uh, at the previous papers, I found that there was a question of a ratio analysis where there was no any calculation, but you were required to analyze from the calculation that they already provided. So please make sure that you watch all these videos so that you can understand a step by step and better understanding on how you should analyze your financial uh, ratios. Okay, without wasting any other time guys, let's start. So the question that we have, um, it was from question three. Okay, so we're going to do question three. So question three, it was interpretation of financial information okay then they say that you are provided with financial indicator of su supporter trader on 31 august 2016 okay and the business has target markup on cost of 80 percent use the information to answer the question that follow okay then they give us information number one they give us gross profit on sales. As you can see, all these items, guys, they are the ratios that already calculated for 2015 of last year and 2016 of current year. Okay. Then 3.1, they said the owner of supporter trader is concerned about liquidity position of the business. Quote two relevant financial indicator with figure to support this concern. So the owner of this company is worrying about a liquidity position so guys before uh, you you start with ratio analysis you must be able to categorize um, all those classes of ratio profitability liquidity solvency and return so that you will be able to know that this kind of ratio fall under a liquidity okay so let's start with a liquidity which is 3.1 all right 3.1 they say we uh, the owner is concerned about liquidity so we have to check the ratios that fall under liquidity so that we can do analysis so that we will be able to answer this question okay number one uh, the liquidity that we have is current ratio remember when we a test the liquidity we want to see if the company will be able to pay a short-term liabilities okay so we measure it through a current ratio and acid test ratio so this is the two ratios that we are going to analyze and check if uh, the concern of the owner is really or not okay let's check our current ratio what happened on current ratio okay on our current ratio um, in 2015 we have a ratio of okay in 2015 we have a ratio of 1 comma 2 is to 1 and in 2016 we have a ratio of 0 comma 86 is to 1 so when we interpret we don't just copy this case we have to explain now why are we saying that the owner is concerned let's first understand the meaning of this one comma two is to one this simply means that the assets that we have they are one comma two over one liability which means that our assets are higher on the left we put an asset on the right we put liability which means that our assets is higher if we have more assets which means that we can be able to pay a liability and left with something okay but when it comes to current year remember this is the previous year results when it comes to current year the year that we are with now our assets are very low are we going to be able to pay liabilities no we are not going to be able to pay a liability which means that the reason is because our current ratio has decreased 
then you can add that the company will not be able to do it to pay a short term liability in this case because our assets are very low so this is how you should interpret the current ratio however we are not done with this question remember it's six months so we also have to go to another one which is acid test ratio okay acid test ratio is similar with current ratio but under acid test ratio guys remember um, we are testing if we will be able to pay a short term debt without including inventory in this case we assume that our inventory have acid for example if you are a company that is selling bread you are saying that you can't convert a bread into cash what if a bread expire which means that they are not convertible when we measure it using acid test ratio okay so now let's check our acid test ratio last year was 0, 0,4 is to 1 and 2016 it go to west to 0, 0,3 is to 1 okay even last year, we, will, we, will not, we won't be able to pay a short-term debt because our assets are very low without what inventor. Now, when it, when it comes come to current year, the situation becomes worse because our assets has gone down by 0, 0,1, which means that, that that is the reason why the owner is content. So the other comment that you have to put here, we have to say that the owner won't be able to do it to pay a short-term debt without what without inventory so that's why the owner is con very very concerned that a uh, liquidity position is very bad for this company okay 3.2 let's try to analyze 3.2 what you have to do guys you make sure that you get understanding so that whenever figure change you will be able to do what to interpret very simple so if you check other other videos you will find that i did some of the calculation for this ratio so that you can also learn how to calculate them so if you have been watching my videos you know that i have uploaded um, many different kind of questions for grade 10 students so if you are new here you just make sure that you subscribe so that you won't get lost uh, or you you won't lost this channel just make sure that whenever that you are writing test examination just come here you will find a new videos okay let's proceed the manager is satisfied with solvent position of the business explain by quoting a relevant financial indicator with figure to support this they said but when it comes to solvent um, the owner is happy how do we identify solvency? It's very simple because if you check on our list, they even write it solvency ratio. So it has the same name. Let's take the solvency ratio. Last year, in 2015, it was 1,5 is to 1 and it increased to 2,3 is to 1. In other words, now we have double assets into what into one liability, which means that we can still be able to pay and left with something. So that's why the business is very satisfied with solvency ratio. Even last year, we we, we were able to pay a debt and left with 0 0.5 because our assets are more. So that's why uh, the owner is very very happy. Uh, with the solvency position so you have to explain guys that the owner is satisfied because we will be able to pay a long-term liability remember solvency is talking that it's all about a long-term liability liquidity is about short-term liability that's the difference so when you explain you have to put down that the company will be able to pay a long-term liability okay then 3.3 the owner of the business is not satisfied by the operating efficiency 
operating efficiency is those ratios guys that you see that gross profit or cost of sales gross profit on what what once you see a ratio that is on that's a, a operation efficient okay in this case they said he's not satisfied then we have to go to two that the owner is not satisfied about okay 3.3 let's check number one the gross profit on cost is go from 57 to 69 he can't be concerned about this because a gross profit um, is going up okay so he won't be concerned about this number two gross profit on sales okay gross profit on sales is from 37 to 45 he won't be concerned about this and operating expense on sales from 16 to 34 yes he will be concerned about this why it has increased but this one is about expense this ratio said operating expense on sales operating expense on sales it goes from 60 percent to 34 percent which means that last year we were spending 16 percent to expense to operating expense now we spend 34 that's too much remember it's a business we don't want to spend much we want to receive much so this is not good at all so the owner is concerned about this okay the reason you can say that uh, the owner won't be satisfied because expense goes up now business is paying more to cover expense okay the other one operating profit on sales yes it will be concerned because it go from 50 to 11 our operating profit our profit goes down this is not good a profit must go up expense must go down so that's the other reason why the owner is not satisfied about um, this one so operating profit on sales it is a decrease from 15 percent to 11.4 percent which is not good okay then we have code to relevant financial indicator then 3.4 the manager feels that the owner must satisfy with return is in it in this business do you agree with the opinion explain by quote one financial indicator to support the answer also quote a figure to support your answer okay they said that the owner must be satisfied do you agree let's check let's go to return on owner's equity he was receiving 16.5 and it's go down now to 5.8 is he going to be happy no as an owner of the business, you want to receive more. You are the one who take a risk and invest to the business. You want to receive more. Imagine last year you were getting a uh, 16.4% and now it's go down to 5.8%. That's bad. That's very bad. You were receiving 16% of the profit. Now you are receiving 5.8%. He's not going to be satisfied. But that's not the only thing that we have to check. We don't only check the credit, but we also have to refer to interest on fixed deposit. Every return must be higher than interest on fixed deposit. Let's check. Our interest on fixed deposit is 8%. Is eight percent our interest is eight percent and he is receiving five comma eight percent is the owner going to be happy no imagine remember guys to open a business it's very risky to invest in business is very risky but to invest in a bank there's no risk the, the bank is going to give you uh, the profit 
that, that if you, you invest the 10,000 and they promise interest of 100, they're going to give you. It's a must, no matter what happened, they're going to give you. There's no risk. Imagine if you, imagine the owner is taking a big risk just to get 5.8%, while he have the option to invest at no risk and get 8%. Which means that this owner, obviously, in this condition, he can pull out of the business. He can take all of his money and invest into a bank because into a bank is going to get better. Which means that the owner is not happy. He's not happy with this return. So that's what I wanted 